Hi everybody, it's Miranda from Miranda Has Plants. I have, um, as most of you know who followed me uh, earlier, I used to plan in a happy planner, but um, given some recent goings on, I have decided to move on from happy planner and um, picked a different style planner. Since quarantine, I've been taking classes uh, with Diane Reevely online. She is a Rangers uh, Inc. Uh, signature designer and she is uh, in charge of the Dilutions brand and she makes all these wonderful um, art journals and uh, planners and I made the little small one. This is like a 5x8. This one is about an 8.5 by 11 and I decided I was going to plan in this instead. So what I wanted to do today was show you what the new planner looks like and give you an idea of where I'm headed. I think this will stretch my creativity a little bit more than the happy planner. So I'm really looking forward to it. So let's dive right in. This is a nice heavy um I don't know if it's cardboard or whatever, but it's a nice heavy cover and it comes with this strap that goes over it because over time this is going to get really chubby with all the stuff that you add to it and this will help to keep it closed. If you don't like that, you can cut it off. That's what I did with my smaller one and painted the cover. Uh, the only thing is, is if you're going to paint the cover, make sure you cover this part with white. Uh, so that way your colors come through. When you open it up, you have this nice huge pocket in the front for everything that you would need to put in your planner. You could pack um, a sticker book, you could pack some stencils, you could pack a journaling block, and stick it all in there if you want to plan on the go. Or if you just want to move to some place <clears throat> where... You can plan or take this with you when you travel on vacation or whatever. So it's a nifty little pocket. The cover is nice and thick also. The first page you can't really use because of the way that it is glued in here. It's usually, it is sewn in signatures, but this first page is always kind of goofy. You can use this for um, pen testing or whatever you want. Or if you don't want that, you can always glue it down and keep it there. So the way that Diane Reevely does planning is she does all the planning things here and then she does an art page here, which will likely be what I do most of the time, but not every time because I would like to incorporate some of my planning over on this side for extras and um, include my art with that. So sometimes this will be a completely art page, sometimes this won't be. Um, I am gonna show you how to add a monthly calendar in. I took a piece of grid paper and stamped out a calendar and color coordinated it with this page. And then I'll show you how to add this in so it's really good and functional for your planning. But that'll be the next video. So it comes with these backgrounds. And they repeat after a while. So I thought I'd just do a little flip through and show you all of the beautiful backgrounds that she starts you off with. And there's even some that are coloring sheets. And you can add, because of the kind of paper this is, this is a little bit lighter than her normal journal. So you can still paint and use her inks and things, but you wouldn't do the fully inked pages in here because I don't think this would stand up to it like the journal does. And like I said, they come in the signatures where they're sewn together. So if you need to rip pages out, you can. This comes with... I believe 54 or 56 pages so if you wanted to use just one page like say for Christmas you wanted to cover over all of this and just make this one Christmas day spread you can you have extras or you have a couple of pages you can rip out if you make a really bad mistake 
The other option that you have is if you do have a Happy Planner Punch and you don't want to keep it in this book, the Happy Planner Punch does go through these pages, but you can only do one page at a time. And if as you're browsing through, you see a background you don't really care for, you can cover it up with black paint. And I'll show you how to do that when we get to one later on. And then we're back to the beginning. So you get a nice variety of backgrounds to work with and color coordinate. Or, like I said, if you find one you don't like, you can always cover over it with black paint and do a black and white spread. So, there we are. This is my new planner. This is where we're headed. So, I'm hoping you stick around and see where I go with this from there. Until next time, bye.